Master Grade Armed Armor DE. Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert184, 2Rs2Bs, Gundam.TK. And the Master Grade Unicorn line has a long tradition of magazine and add ons there. As you can see, the Gatling guns, this is not from the full armor, this is actually from the magazines back in the day, but today the focus is going to be on this one instead. It's the Armed Armor DE, it's the version KA. It's going to be attached here to the Band Dessine Volume 8 manga, so let's see how this works out and how it's going to work when you actually go attach it onto this old school guy. Early 2013 release, with the combo pack selling for 1200 yen before tax. Now if you've seen episode 6 of Gundam UC's OVA, you'll be familiar with the Banshee Norn here, which got to add on even more armored armor after losing the ones on the forearms there. But basically it's going to be a big folded up shield here in its HGUC because this one is going to be in unicorn mode. And the one that you're actually going to be getting with this add-on is going to be transforming. The big difference being is that it's going to be for the regular white unicorn instead of for the Banshee Norn. So we'll have to see what other kind of future releases or paint variations we'll be getting here in the future. So the full name here, as it's going to be spelled out in English, is going to be Shield Booster Armed Armor DE, and of course it's going to be coming from the publisher that any fans of Gundam Ace or any of the Ace series loves, Kadokawa Comics A for Ace. Now one of the cool things about this is that when you separate it from the manga itself, you'd think it would sort of make sense that they'd be showing off this side, is I'm a huge fan of version KA packaging. When you've got the nice white with the fantastic CG art in the background there, and here you're going to be getting tons of details. It's actually sort of funny because I remember back in the day looking at things like the version KA uh, Wing Gundam and wondering, well, what is this? Where did it appear in? And there's very few pictures and very little information. This one, as a magazine packet, is actually going to have more text and more useful pictures than any of the old version KA models. But for this, it's definitely a plus. So what is the item that you're really keen on getting here? Well, first of all, if you take a look, it's going to look very unexciting and very Banshee Nornish in terms of Unicorn mode, because if you've got the Unicorn Gundam folded up in his all-white mode there, you can take the shield and do the exact same thing with it. However, if you want to go Destroy mode here, you'll notice underneath that you do have the shield from the original Unicorn Gundam there in its Destroy mode, and you're going to be getting additional white and pink parts there that is, we're going to have even more Psycho Frame as it all opens up. How effective it looks as a shield, well, I don't know, but however, the important thing is that it's going to look awesome. As you can see here, when it's attached onto his arm, the only thing that I'm worried about, though, is that the Unicorn Gundam had enough trouble keeping the shield on and keeping his arms up in place. How well is this going to work in terms of weight issues? We'll find out. But if you go through and read the information, it's also pluses going to be included. They are mentioning specifically, I find it interesting, that it is going to be for the version KA, not for the Unicorn, or for the OVA version of the Unicorn there. However, it doesn't really matter as the shields are going to be the same. But the bonuses are you can attach this on to the Shininju Stein and to the new Gundam, also version KA, and the full armor they're going to mention as well. And instead of just words, it's going to be depicted here neatly as you've got the Stein. You can see it both open and closed. When it's opened up, of course, it's going to be pink, which no longer fits the color scheme. Nevertheless, it's going to be looking pretty cool. How nice would it be to have a green one to go along with the version KA of the new, new Gundam there? And here it is for the full armor. You'll notice, though, that it has to be attached onto the back, and it's got green psycho frame exposed. So let's see what kind of plastic you're actually going to get here. So when you pop it open, this usual pretty good construction here and a decent price overall. When you pull it out, you're going to be getting some white here all chopped up to go along with the pink. And underneath, you'll have a manual. You're going to be getting four white plates here, but I've just reconstructed it because you can imagine that they're going to be selling another version of the Master Grade Unicorn Gundam in the future. And this will be included there. You can see where you can attach on the small part there. And the circle in the middle is going to be the dead giveaway of the eventual complete plate that we'll get one day. All of the plates are going to be labeled WE for weapon, I'd imagine, weapon 1, and they are all going to space specifically the armed armor DE. Small plate by small plate here, you're still going to be impressed by the actual number of parts that you're going to be getting here. There are some lining possibilities here as you've got this large piece, also some sides there, and you can see some small movable flaps which will be used for the transformation. WE2 is going to be a nice touch here, as it's going to have some nice, uh, not rounded parts, but bent parts all over the place. But it's always impressive to see whenever they go for the full completed spheres-like circles there that are, again, are not quite spheres. But some good details here, definitely a plus, and definitely master grade quality and a huge step up, as you'd expect, from the high grade. 
WE3 here, you can see where you're going to have some of these recessed areas there. So if you want to go and paint these up properly, you can go ahead and do that. Some more lighting possibilities and where you're actually going to start attaching the pieces in there with general side pieces and pegs jutting out all over the place. And WE4 is going to wrap up the white parts there. More triangles over there and you can see where parts are going to be able to rotate outwards down there on a peg system. And again, some nice little details there as you're going to be exposing whenever you've got these cuts there. Hopefully that's going to be showing off some pink inner frame down there to go along with these moving parts. Definitely looking cool so far. Until you go and see the pink plate here, which should be the most exciting one whenever you're dealing with a full psycho frame there. From WE, it goes to WD up here. I'd have to see what was ABC. Maybe that was the Gatlings back in the day. Armed Armor DE is going to be written on there, but the reason why you're going to be disappointed after seeing the white parts is because the color is wrong. When you picked up the version KA that this is supposed to match, instead here you're going to be having some very soft plastic and it's way too light in terms of the shades. Five pieces overall, you're going to have this large one here and these two small ones to go on the sides and again on the top. But just seeing this being a different color, it just makes you shake your head at the planning that didn't go into this. As you can see here next to the shield of the original, a lot more transparent and definitely disappointing. Now the manga itself is going to be very exciting if you want to judge this book by its cover there as you get to see it both unicorn and destroy mode there with the Armed Armor DE folded and unfolded there, looking fantastic overall. Here you're just going to be able to take this off as they're telling you. I always like this kind of thing with manga that they don't have to go and jamma and block up the cover in the future when this isn't going to actually be attached. They're just advertising for the thing that you already just saw this attached onto. But when you go through, yeah, you're going to get some nice art there to kick things off. But here's the funny part. Again, nice art there on the front, as you can see the chapter's broken down there. Great art there to go on the back. Again, just tons of focus on the DE until you actually go through the manga itself. And yeah, there is absolutely nothing about the Armed Armor DE. So you're going to go pick this up. You're going to get the model. You're going to see it on the cover. You're going to see it on the back cover. And then you're going to go inside expecting to see it being used by the White Unicorn so that you can get the focus off of the Banshee Norn and, yeah, you just, it's not going to be done. Absolutely disappointing there. It is sort of going to be funny, though, that you can see on the inside, they've got the Gatling guns attached onto him in unicorn mode there. Also worth noting that he's going to have the Vulcans up there, even though the version KA doesn't. But here's the funny part, too, for the model itself. If you put, if you go and buy these and you attach them on here, well, then you can't put the shield on properly. So it's quite funny that basically everything about the contents of the manga is going to have nothing to do with this incredible cover and hopefully this cool looking add-on that we just picked up. The manual is just going to be a fold up piece of paper there, but it's going to be filled with some useful information and all sorts of small print. Yes, don't swallow it kids. Down here you can see the plastic parts laid out over the age of 15 and what they're going to have you do is build up the A parts down here which is going to make out for the top of the actual shield and then when you flip it around to the back you can go and build up the B parts which is going to basically correspond to the bottom. So here you're going to see the ability that you can move it up here, here, and swing it out down there on the bottom. So you've got to be impressed with the number of moving parts here for an add-on there. And they're going to tell you that this is for the version KA shield that you'll attach the bottom part onto the longer bottom there and the large part up on the top. Weight issues waiting to be happened as then you're going to go, you're going to get a punch sound hopefully there and then you're going to be getting a backing on there and then you'll attach it on to the already poorly designed wrist for the actual Gundam itself. But here's some of the bonuses that they're also going to be making this laid out nice and easily here for the full armor Unicorn Gundam. If you want to go detach the shield from the back that you can go and do this. It's going to look fantastic I think there except for the wrong pink on green. And then when you come down here you've got the Shinanju Stein and how about that for a bonus that it's actually going to be attaching onto his shield there as you're going to be sliding this part up and that part down. And the same thing for the new Gundam there. There's going to be some similarities, of course, between the shields here. Nonetheless, the fact that it's going to work with their natural shields there, and you're not going to have to be using Psycho Frame or borrowing the unicorns, and then just swapping it onto their different arms, definitely seems like a very nice plus, and a, perhaps a reason that you might be picking up three or four of these add-on kits. So as you've seen from the unbox here, there's lots of positives and a few negatives to go along with this kit. First of all, let's just start the packaging. Incredible. The fact is you're going to be getting a manga and it's a fun manga series. If you want to go through, re read through Band Destiny, see all sorts of cool things like the UC MSVs and just fleshing things out a little bit more. Uh, the A plate, or if you want to call it the white plate there, that's going to all go together. Looks fantastic. 
Just the big disappointment, of course, is going to be for this one. Um, if you want to go ahead and do this up Banshee Norn style and add it on to your Master Grade Banshee right now, you won't be able to get clear orange on here unless you're clever at painting over clear on top of clear here. So I'm sure that there's some people who would have preferred to have this just in another color here. I, as a lazy modeler, I'm quite happy that they're going to be giving you the pink. The big question is, though, why? If they're going to give you the pink to match the version KA, are they not going to actually match the color? Just mind-boggling in terms of that aspect. However, you do have the ability to go and paint it up however you want, and if you wanted to paint it up in proper gold, I'm sure you could have some fun if you painted up the gold for the inner frame of your MG Banshee, or you can just wait for the inevitable re-releases of the Banshee and the regular white unicorn as well. Anyway, everybody, stick around. I can't wait to see this attached to, all put together and then attached onto this guy here. Please let me know what you think of this one compared to some of the other magazine add-ons. Just the fact that we're getting two colors for more and more things like the Age 1 Razor is definitely a plus. Just would be nice if they did it in the right color instead. Anyway, stick around. Thanks for watching. See ya. Wait a minute. Are you implying that they're going to be selling more versions of us? Yes. Yes, I am.